Even look at this video title by a poor man's podcast. Would you rather date a drug dealer, a scammer, or a nine to five guy? <laughs> I want the schema first, then the drug dealer, then the nine to five. They like the fast money over here. Because the fast kids, they got time. They can take you out Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. But you just complain to them when they're the Only take you out on the weekends. Oh, oh they gonna have some time, all right? They gonna have some time. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drop the soap if you get what I'm saying. And this is the problem. The women in our community worship the men that are part of the problem in our community. There's no way you can make any forward progress that way. We have these phrases like protect black women, but how are we going to ever do that if you prefer the men that are part of the problem? If you're a guy and you dress corporate and you speak corporate in our community, they say you talk white. Don't nobody like a guy who's corporate. Don't nobody like a guy who talks white until he's making that talks white money, until he's making that white collar money, until he's making that corporate money. Then people start to get interested in him. You're worshiping the men that are part of the problem in our community, and then you expect the men that are good men to be able to solve the problems in our community. That's not how it's going to work. Why? Because you're incentivizing more men to be the problem. I know dudes that were good dudes that had never even thought about doing things that were bad, but they realized the only way they could be seen as cool in our community or the only way they could attract the women in our community especially when we're talking about high school to the to early 20s oh you you gotta be doing something you gotta be doing something and generally speaking it ain't productive either it's making bad financial decisions by spending your money on clothes you can't afford or it's going out and trying to be a drug dealer or a scammer in order to impress the people in our community and that's just not going to get us any forward progress strong communities are built on a strong working class we knew that historically speaking but somewhere that message got lost we've always been a working class people but somewhere that message got lost we fetishized the idea of rappers and entertainers and thinking that you have to have money as a at a young age to be a successful african-american man but 90 percent of all millionaires are made through real estate if you're a young guy and you look like me just remember don't try to go out and impress these people because these women are not going to hold you down when you do that 15 years when you in there crying in your cell because you, you don't want to do that time but you got to do every second of it you these women aren't going to hold you down they're going to be sleeping with your best friend at this point the, where, where i'm at in terms of like dating i can see through the bs the answer is the person who talks to the most girls who interacts with the most women is going to get the most girls that's it remember my earlier question how many women have you actually talked to in the past month in the past week, let's say for the, for argument's sake, right? Let's say those occupations, whether drug dealer, scammer, or even a doctor, a lawyer, did result in those men getting more women. What does that have to do with you getting more women in your life, right? It's, 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 it's the equivalent of saying, oh, Jeff Bezos is already a millionaire, making millions of dollars and thousands of dollars, blah, blah, blah. What does that have to do with me going about getting more money and being more wealthy, right? <laughs> so it's like, okay, he's getting more women. Okay, what about what do I have to do to me? What do I have to do for me to get to get the end goal that I want personally? A lot of y'all are good guys minus the sex appeal, and that's why you have a hard time getting women. See, you don't deserve a chick just because you're a good guy. See, guys think that they can rack up these good guy points like, oh, I, you know, I, I went to I went to school, check. I go to work, check. I, uh, you know, uh, help old ladies cross the street, check. I pay my taxes, check. I'm a law abiding citizen, check. I got all these things checked off on the list. So where's my woman? I, a woman should want to be with me. I'm, I'm like a really good guy. But you don't get her tea wet, though. <laughs> this is what I don't get. I don't understand. Like, why is this so hard to understand? Exactly. Dewey said, I'm sure Lizzo has a good personality, but I'm good. Exactly. You see what I'm saying? Like <laughs> you have to say to yourself, you have to say, women are sexually attracted to me. Women want me. All right. You got to say that to yourself out loud or in your head consistently. Say women are sexually attracted to me and women want me. Women are sexually attracted to me and women want me. You have to keep saying this to yourself all the time. Because what happens is, is that when you say these things, it starts to get in your subconscious, right? And then you start to believe that women want you and that women are sexually attracted to you because you keep telling yourself this. Hopefully, hopefully, you can all finally agree that looks, money, and status does not necessarily mean that you will attract or keep quality women in your life if you are not a masculine man that is sexually appealing. People were clowning Jeff Bezos the other day for the way his girlfriend was looking at Leonardo DiCaprio.
and millionaire rapper the baby who was having baby mama drama with Danny Lee. I didn't I didn't skeet it in the wrong thing. I got yeah. to deal with what come with that. Yeah. But my last name Kirk is what I do. So I take whatever come with that full responsibility, but shout it is cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. Okay. Shout it is cuckoo one. for Cocoa Puffs. And shout it is not my girl. <laughs> ain't never been my girl. It's my uh, bitch. It's your what? No, my it's shout it is Ooh. a certified side bitch. <laughs> like, like, it's fucking embarrassing me like that. Shout it is a certified side. Oh, Just trying to act like she ain't. No, let, let's no, take it up. Her parents know she's my bitch. Everybody knows she's a side I've been doing things with her to make her think that she is on a certain level. And she's like, well, what, what, what? You want me to go get leave and get, the only reason women think that way or act that way is because you did something to make them think that they were at a certain level with you. So if the baby was like, you know what? This is the type of chick where a few times or whatever, have her going on her way, he would have wore a condom out of her, right? And then just told her this. Get the fuck out of here! Get the fuck out of here! Right? And then he just called her back whenever he, and if he would have been doing that, whenever he told her to leave, there would be no issue because she knew where her place was. Right. You see what I'm saying? A lot of y'all guys, not because y'all confuse these women by letting them think that their place in your situation is what it isn't. But see, the big thought, because he was probably cupcaking and doing a whole bunch of other extra shit. And he didn't know that you can't... See, a lot of guys don't know that they're not supposed to go the extra mile with a woman. Mm. That they don't see as a woman that they're going to actually want to be in a significant portion of their life. Or that a woman who's not at the level to be at a significant portion of their life at that time. Right. You see what I'm saying? So the problem is, is the baby, he's probably sitting there cupcaking with her, cuddling with her, doing all this other shit, pillow talking and all this other nonsense. He in raw in the... Or the outlandish things Jada Pinkett Smith has been saying regarding her marriage to Will Smith. And then what did you do, Jada? Well, you know, I think from there... You know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement. I think um, you need to say clearly what happened. And I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. People, people clowned all three of these high-value men, right? <laughs> so, come on now. Let's put, a, let's put an end to looks and money status. Please and thank you. So basically, what it comes down to all this content online is, does it make you feel good? Or does it inspire you to take action? Are you getting more women in your life as a result of this content? Are you getting more dates? Are you getting more sex? Are you ultimately getting long-term relationships that you are managing better than previously watching this content? If so, go ahead, right? But if you're building a resentment, a disdain for women by watching all this female accountability content, there's something going on there. Really what it is, is that you're not sexually appealing to most of these chicks in certain situations, right? You gotta understand this. Some women will be attracted to you in the way where they look at you as a friend. So they're like, you know, I'm attracted to him, but in a friendly way. So I'll put him in the friend zone. You understand? I'll, I'll chill with him on some friendly stuff. Then you have women who are attracted to you in a way where they like the fact that you have money and resources. So they're like, yeah, I'll use this guy for his money, have him take me out, pay my rent, whatever it is, right? But you have women who are sexually attracted to you. How your mindset can increase your sex appeal, right? Now, what you got to understand is, is that most guys don't have sex appeal based off of how they view themselves, all right? Based off of how the guy views himself, that's going to determine how sexually appealing he is to the woman. Because it first starts with you. It first starts with how you put yourself out there and how you view yourself, how you look at yourself. Because your thoughts are going to become your actions, right? So if you think... You're the guy who is on point. If you think you're the shit, if you think you're the guy that is sexually appealing, sexually attractive to women, right? You're going to become that because you're going to give off that energy. You see what I'm saying? You're basically letting the women know that you are that dude. You understand? See, and, and, and it all starts from you. It's almost like this because because this is the thing. And I always use this, this uh, example. You know, let's say you have a musician who comes out with a, a song or whatever, and you might say, oh, this song sucks. But then that musician or that record label or whoever their team is, they end up playing a song all the time. It's on, you know, everywhere you go there, the, the song is playing on the radio. You know, you can't escape it. It's just playing and playing and playing. And like, yo, this is the, 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 the new joint. This is the hot stuff right here. This is the, the, the shit. You go to the, the club, they, they bumping it all the time. And next thing you know, that same song that you said previously was whack, all of a sudden you start to like it. You start to say, damn, I'm starting to feel this song. This is my shit right now, right? It's the same exact song, but what happened was, was that they kept pumping it in your ear. They kept pumping it. They kept, you know, doing that and letting, letting you know that it was the shit. Now you, in turn, see it as the shit because they first believed it was the shit with their, in, in, within themselves. So the same thing happens for you with your mindset. You have to continuously tell yourself you are the shit. And then 
you will start to believe you are the shit. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And then so as you believe you're the shit, then what's going to happen is women are going to start to believe you're the shit because you're going to be letting them know you're the shit. You understand? You're going to be basically giving off that energy so that they are going to get on board with it. Some guys are going to say, but wait a second, you know, this is crazy because I'm not sexually, you know, attractive and women don't want me. So, you know, am I lying to myself? And, you know, this is crazy. Like, I don't understand this, right? What you have to understand is, is that you have to keep saying this to yourself because as you saying it to yourself, what you're doing is you're, you're reprogramming your mind, right? You're reprogramming your mind to think and believe you are that guy that women want. And then even though you don't believe it now, eventually you will believe it. And then once you believe it, that's when women are going to start to believe it. That's when women are going to start to see you differently. You need to also interpret everything as her wanting you. Interpret everything as her wanting you. So for example, if you're, if you're, you know, on a bus, right. And a girl sits next to you on the bus. What you need to think is, you know, that girl is sitting next to me because she's sexually attracted to me. That's the only reason she sat next to me. Right. So again, you're interpreting everything as she wants you. You understand? Let's say you're at a, you know, event and you see a girl like, you know, uh, lock eyes with you for a second. You understand? She looks you in your eyes. You know, you say to yourself, you know, this chick, she's looking at me in my eyes because she is so sexually attracted to me. She's just, you know, she just can't help it. You understand? You're interpreting everything as her wanting you, right? Now, you can also flip it this way because, again, like I said, a lot of guys are going to say, well, you know, uh, I don't believe these girls want me because, you know, that girl, the other day I tried to holler at her and she, you know, didn't give me her number or, you know, I tried to get with this girl and she flaked on me or whatever, Right. But again, you have to interpret everything as her wanting you. So let's say you try to talk to a girl and she didn't give you the number. So you say to yourself, you know what? She didn't give me that number because she's too damn intimidated by me because I'm, I'm probably like the sexiest guy she's uh, ever talked to. You know, that's that's really why she ain't trying to fuck with me. You understand? You have to tell yourself you have to interpret everything as her wanting you. Right. Let's say you, um, you know, was trying to set up a date with the chick and, you know, she was like being flaky or whatever. You know, you say, look, this chick was flaky because she was too nervous to be with a guy as fly as me. That's really what it is. So, you know, it is what it is.